What is going on guys? It is Brad or Demon Asylum here. I'm bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. I'm going to be showing you all how to get power armor literally in the very beginning of the game as soon as you leave Vault 111. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Red Rocket Truck Stop which will already be marked on your map when you leave the vault because that is where you get your dog as your companion right away at the start of the game. Go ahead and take him as a companion because you're going to do that anyway. And then you're going to want to wrap it right around this area and go down into the Mole Rat Cave which you probably already have seen me do. Inside this cave there is a few mole rats of course, again very easy to take out especially if you have your dog with you, uh, regardless of your level and difficulty it won't be a problem. And then in the corner of the cave there will be a fusion core on the ground. Go ahead and pick that up because this is what we're going to be using to go ahead and power on the armor. Go ahead and leave the cave now and you're going to want to take a left and from here you're basically just going to go straight. I'll let you guys go ahead and follow along with where I go in the video here. And basically you're just going to go straight until you see a satellite in the distance which you continue working towards until you get to a big plane crash. I believe it is a Brotherhood of Steel plane that is crashed or at least it looks similar to those of which that were in Fallout 3. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess on that and the fact that there's power armor right next to it which you guys will see me go up to. And when you go up to the power armor, you can go ahead and either take pieces from it. Um, if, for instance, you already had power armor and you wanted to just take this to go sell it. Or if, like myself, you're going and getting power armor for the first time, like I assume most of you will be doing, you take your fusion core and uh, you choose to transfer with the armor and you put your fusion core from your inventory into the uh, inventory of the power armor and that will turn it on. From there, it gives you the option to actually get into the armor and then there you go, you're set to go. As far as the interface goes for the armor and just the uh, look of it, whether you're in first person or third person, I think it's absolutely amazing and I also think that it's really cool that you can actually get this so early on in the game. Don't get me wrong, it's uh, it's not a case where you know it's so powerful that it's going to make anything a breeze for you, but especially if you're playing on one of those harder difficulties, this definitely is going to be a factor. It's going to make things a little bit easier for you, um, especially if you're someone who is struggling to get some good gear, to get some caps, ammo, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and again, if you're playing on one of those harder difficulties, this will definitely come in handy. Regardless of your difficulty, your skill level, or whatever, definitely go ahead and pick this up, guys. It's going to be worth it for sure. And even if you already have power armor, like I said, you can go ahead and just take the pieces off this and you can use them to modify or uh, to upgrade your current or you can go ahead and switch them out if those things are possible. And even if not, you can go ahead and just sell it if you wanted to. But either way, guys, that is basically it for this video. I do hope you all have enjoyed. If so, feel free to drop a like on the video down below and subscribe for many more Fallout 4 videos to come. Thanks for watching, everyone, and peace out.